Mr. F. <laughs> Mr. F, what are you doing, Mr. F? Uh, Aren't you supposed to be working, Mr. F? Uh, it um, looks just like you're playing a game, Mr. F. Uh, I was what are you just, playing, Mr. F? I was just taking a break what? from grading papers to play oh. Little Angry Birds. Oh, Angry Birds, Mr. F. I like yeah. that game. I play that game with my grandma all the time. <laughs> she beats me all the time, though, Mr. F. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she's good. So what are you doing? Uh, I was actually planning a lesson with it. Oh, okay, Mr. F. <laughs> no, Biff, I'm, I'm serious. <laughs> sure. All right, here. I have proof here. Check this out. Let's load up my uh, data on this IQ board here. All right, so check that out. Measures of central tendency with angry birds. Ooh. So here's our assignment. I want the students to be able to do this. Find the mean or the average number of attempts. Like mean birds, you mean, Mr. F? Yeah, it kind of goes with mean and angry birds. I think angry I've read birds. Birds That's kind of the cool bird, part Mr. about F. it. Yes. So find the mean or the average number of attempts for different levels on angry birds. So... Uh, here I have a bar graph, and there's the different levels on the bottom and the okay. number of attempts that it took me to pass each one of those. Oh, I see. So. Took you three times on that first one, Mr. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. So you're probably wondering, how do we find the mean? How do we find the mean? Two easy steps, Biff. The first one, we need to add up all the amounts. Okay. And the second step is divide the total by how many amounts that we added. Okay. So. So the amounts are like the attempts, Mr. F? Um, that's correct. So here, check out this slide. So our first step is to add all the values together. So there we can see the first level was three. Then that took me eight times on the next level. I see. Five times, seven times. So what I want you to do, I want you to add all of those up and all of our attempts up, and then I'm going to have the students do the same thing. Okay. Well, okay. I'll start Mr. F. All right. Okay. Are you ready? I think so, Mr. F. All right, before you give away the answer, I want our students to whisper the answer to their neighbors, okay? So whisper, check with your neighbor to make sure you have it right. All right, Biff, yes, what Mr. did F. you get for your answer? Um, well, Mr. F, I, I got 35, Mr. F. All right, let's check it out. 35 is correct. Very good. And I heard a lot of our students say 35 as well. I so, did too. That was step one. Add all the values together. We did that. We have 35. Right. Now, here's the second step. We're going to divide that total or the sum by how many values we added. Okay. Now, if you added seven different numbers together to get 35. Right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There That's they are, right. Mr. They are. F. So the number of levels we added is going to be our divisor, and our total or our sum is going to be our dividend. So 35 divided by 7. And, of course, our answer is 5. So 5 average attempts per level. Our mean is 5. You ready for a little bit harder one? Mm -hmm. Well, I don't know, Mr. F. I was thinking about playing Angry Birds for a little while. No, after. Oh, you got to get okay. this right, okay? Okay, Mr. F. All right. So here we go. Help Biff find the mean for the number of attempts Mr. F played Angry Birds per month. So we'll leave this screen up here. We'll have the students um, work on adding up their uh, values all together. And Biff, you do the same. Okay, Mr. And then Mr. we'll move on to the second step. So go ahead and try that right now. All righty. For January, you added 12. In February, you had 15. In March, it was mm -hmm. 20. 18, mm -hmm. then 15, 10, July was 11, August 19, then November's 14, and December 16. So there's 12 total numbers there. I see it, Mr. Did R you add all those up? I see it. All right. Now, before we give away the answer, um, we're going to want to see if the students have the same total that you do. Okay. What did you get for your total, Biff? Well, Mr. F, when I add this kind of stuff up, I like to do it the easy way. Oh, yeah? So, like, like I see a 12 there first, and then there's an 18. Oh, okay. So, the 12 and 18, that makes 30, Mr. F. All right. So I'll go ahead and move, move that on the keynote here. So, okay. we're going to put easy numbers together. So, 12 right. and 18 so then, makes 30. So, then there's a 15, Mr. F, uh -huh. and another 15. So, that's another 30. Yes. And then there's a 20, Mr. F, and a 10. Yes. And that's another 30. Very smart. Uh, and then there's uh, an 11 and a 19, Mr. F. Uh huh. That's 30. Very good. And a 13 plus a 17 yes. is a 30, Mr. F. Yes. And a 14 and a 16 is another 30, Mr. F. All right. So what do you get when you add all those up? Uh, I, I would go 30, 60, 90, 120, 150, 180, Mr. F. Skip counting so it's, by it's 30. Skip wow, counting. Yes. 
Well, it's sort of like counting by three, Mr. F. Oh, yeah, three, that's right. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen. Very C. good. But I just added the zeros on the end, so 30, 60, 90, like that. Very good. I have a feeling a lot of our friends did 30 times 6 and got 180 oh, also. Oh, you could do that too, Mr. F. Very good. So now we have our values added together, our total. 180. So then our second step says we're going to divide that total by how many we added. And we added up 12. 12. That's right. So 12 is the number of months we added as our divisor. And then our sum of all the attempts was our dividend. So you know where we got the 12? I uh, do, Mr. F. All right. That was the number of months we added. And then you know where the 180 came from? Yes, Mr. F. That was all of your attempts right there, 180. All right. Very good. So I'm going to give you a little clue here before you start dividing these out. Um, okay. I like to say... Does McDonald's sell cheeseburgers? Oh, 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 yeah. Mr. F. I know it. <laughs> you know, they sell them apple pie too, Mr. F. That's true. Apple so, pie. So the D stands for divide, <laughs> and the M stands for multiply, and then subtract, and then we check, and then we bring down. So what I want you to do is I want you to figure out the answer to 180 divided by 12, and I want our students to do the same thing, okay? Okay, Mr. F. Okay, we're going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to give you guys all a signal. When I give you that Ooh. signal, I'm going to do both thumbs up when I do it. I want you guys signal. to say what answer you guys came up with, all the students and Biff at the same time. Okay, are you okay. ready? I'm Wait ready, for the Mr. signal. Ruff. I'm ready. <laughs> Fifteen, Mr. F. Fifteen. Okay, I, got 15. I heard a lot of our classmates say fifteen. Let's see if they're right. Okay, how Thank many times you. does twelve go into eighteen? Once. Very good. And then we multiply. One times twelve is twelve. Twelve. That's right. And then the next step is subtract. So right. eighteen minus twelve is six. Six. Very good. Then um, we check. Is the six smaller than twelve? It is. It is so Mr. then we bring down the zero. Bring it down, Mr. Now F. Bring it down. Over. Bring it down, Mr. F. Twelve goes into sixty. How many times? Uh, five times, Mr. F. Five times. Very good. Five times twelve is sixty. We subtract. Mm -hmm. No remainder, and there's nothing else to bring down. So That's we right, Mr. F. Are what, Biff? Dunzo, Mr. F. Dunzo. That's right. Very good. Well, thank you for joining us on the Mean, Median, and Mode Part 1. Join us for Part 2. We'll start with Median, Mode, and Range. Can I play now, Mr. F? Yeah, you can play. Go ahead. Oh, thanks, Mr. F.